a perception or concept of health, preventative health, how to engage, apply, adapt practically um, in your life so that you can prevent a lot of the different illnesses that we are prone to because of the dietary habits that we've consumed within this country, because of the um, lack of movement or even genetic um, handicaps, who knows, all right? Um, I think that uh, learning a, lot, a preventative lifestyle that doesn't interfere with who you are, or what you're doing, it just helps you to be more body aware in terms of how to deal with whatever pains, issues, or whatever. And I found that, um, you know, the way that I view Chinese medicine is that it was originally um, Egyptian, African medicine. This is what we used in Egypt to uh, help heal different challenges and stuff along those lines, but also how to prevent bigger problems and issues. Um, and I think understanding um, comparative, what I call uh, comparative associations, that's what I call it, all right? These comparative associative thinking, all right, helps you to connect the dots. And I think that in the past, Everyone had a basic understanding of connecting the dots, or maybe they didn't, I don't know, but there was a select few that did. Um, and what I'm saying is understanding our connection to the stars, our connection to this planet, our connection, its connection to us, and how we find balance, because I think we've been acculturated to be in balance, to think that that imbalance is balance because we're constantly in that sympathetic fight or flight state, always leaving our home wondering and hoping, praying, like maybe not consciously, but subconsciously, like let me just make it home, all right? Um, as today is gonna be a great day, I'm the best, do what I can, but just try to make sure that I make it home. All right. Now, I'm sure there's a lot of people that don't think that because life doesn't pass those um, challenges on to them. And in this life, if you choose to be who you are, all right, outside of color, others still see color. So um, I find the best way to deal with these challenges um, comes with not allowing them to stop you from achieving, doing, or being, all right? Now, I'm an integrative medicine physician, so of course health is paramount to me, and I think as a culture, um, it would be important for us to learn and adapt just an understanding of balance within duality, balance within health, balance how to prevent issues by seeing, acknowledging, and accepting where you are. Now, we do this in different ways. Some of us change our diets drastically, start working out, hitting the gym real hard, getting nice simply to um, be healthier. And it, it works, all right? Um, so this is along the lines of eating right, doing exercise, but it is more local, understanding your body, understanding how our body functions and works. And one of the things that I'd like to do is create a collection of the different classes that I'm teaching, create a collection of little snippets on each topic each subject matter for health so that we understand that the concept of preventative health means daily practice daily consistency and daily consistency is what i strive for i'm not always uh, on it but my goal is to be daily consistent so if i miss a day 
I try not to beat myself up and I get up and I do it the next day and then try to say, make sure that I do it each day, get up and do something. Whether I share it or not, I do get up and do something every single day in, pertain in pertaining to breath health, health of how we breathe, health of how we move, how we get into contact with our body. I do um, different forms of qigong, nigong, um, tai chi, uh, dragon, um, a merit of different. I even dabble a little in the yoga and other uh, mantras and styles. And so I have found that it is very important to keep instilling a breath activity that brings you closer to your energy, yourself, your body, how it moves. When there's stasis, stagnation, or hindrance, how to clear those stasis, stagnations, and hindrances. Um, so uh, I want to do my best to convey um, preventative health from my perspective, all right? And um, how I utilize Chinese medicine in um, adapting this preventative health uh, mechanics is not just the action of doing the practices daily, but also the action of thinking the practices daily. Thinking of the comparisons, as they say, is yin and yang. Now, the concept of yin and yang um, from Wu Qi, or from the nothingness, the allness, the everything, that block, the beginning of the beginnings, which is just simply represented as a circle. All right? And then the, how that Wu kind of creates life through creating yin and yang. Now, yin and yang is perceptual duality, all right? Um, and so perceptual duality is opposition based on where you are perspectively, all right? So yin would be considered the passive, the soft, the gentle, um, the calm, all right. Whereas Yang would be the excited, the strong, the the uh, resilient, the forceful, um, the action. Whereas the Yin would be the inaction, the thought. Whereas Yang would be the activation, the activity, the functioning, the doing. So understanding that this duality of opposition in any aspect of life, in any aspect of creation, helps us to find how we challenge our bodies to be optimal in its health, how we challenge um, balance and creating balance, because this duality, according to Wu, um, is what created everything else. All right, because this duality became Mother Earth, which is yin, and Father Son, which is universe, all right, which is yang, the universe and the earth, that stardust or celestial debris is what creates us from the union of Mother Earth, Father Son becomes the human, all right? And now we are composed of these five elements that came and derived from this combination of earth and heaven and us, all right? Which creates these five elements. Now these elements show themselves as wood, fire, earth, metal, water, and then it goes again. 
all right? Wood, fire, earth, metal, water. And the beauty of how we connect this wood, fire, earth, metal, water is understanding that each one of these elements has paired meridian slash organs. So they associate not just to our internal body, but to our external expressions on our body, all right? So the internal would be yin, the external would be yang, all right? However, these pathways of energy that intertwine and go down deep within and address the organ of its name, all right, um, affects these energy pathways on our body. Now, these energy pathways are connected, as I said, to the meridian organs, all right? Now, the meridian organs in association to these five elements are simply paired, all right? So for our wood, we would have our liver gallbladder. For our fire, we would have our heart and our small intestines. For our earth, we would have our stomach and our spleen. For our metal, we would have our lung and our large intestine. And for our water would be our kidney and our urinary bladder. Now these, understanding these connections are the basic, basic understanding of how each one of these peers has its own personality that shows its excesses and its deficiencies, all right? Now, because it has its own um, paired dualities within emotion, we also can separate saying positive and negative for uh, yang and yin, all right? Um, or yin and yang because depending on the perception uh, that you're focusing on depends on how that duality fits because everything has yin and yang as its expression. Everything has uh, a hard and a soft expression to it. Even a soft expression can be hard depending on the perception and the context you're looking at. So, I plan on expanding on this. I just simply wanted to see what this looks like on a video.